fancy seeing you guys randomly here. Oh, yeah. How's it going, mate? <laughs> so you made it. <laughs> Oh man, we're not in Australia anymore. <laughs> nah, bienvenue à Annecy. Ah, merci. Um, it's not basically the only word I can string together now after 30 hours. Of, oh, yeah, yeah, it's probably two, two days of travel there, basically, to get in. Yeah, and the skies looking beautiful. All right, the dream team's here, Dobbo, Nick, Lucas. Where's Alyssa? There's Stealth. Hey, Stealth. <laughs> And so it begins. <laughs> it's going to give us a crash course. <laughs> How to fly in the Alps. It kind of comes down like this. Yeah. And then there's a valley where you drive up to get here. Yeah. And I'm now at the slow slow tournament. Blah, blah, blah. Do this, do that. Blah, blah, blah. You better say something or they'll think you're stupid. We're going to go south and, and then get it or we can get it from the no, north no, don't do it today, today yeah. Just yeah yeah, yeah, yeah okay. but if you're coming back from that way another time. if you decide you need to fix your speed by in the lee over here again yeah <laughs> <laughs> my ex-alps hat on nick's got his issue ex alps footwear 4x gold for x gold we're starting a bull babe adventure in nsc bull babe stands for flying and camping so we've got all our camping gear and our flying gear and our harnesses and we got food and water to last us a few days and uh, the plan is to uh, launch get high like these guys up in the clouds uh, connect to the mountain behind La Tournette and then from there we're gonna head towards the RV which is another mountain range and uh, we're hoping to top land and camp there for the night and then these guys have a plan on uh, where to go tomorrow so super excited, super stoked, and I pack up my gear and get ready to go. It's just always a balance of how much food and water you can take with you. Well, high energy food, and Nick has provided a uh, high energy beer, <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> and he's been shopping in that Woody's bag, bag full of goodies. What's yep. that, Nick? Um, it's a Uton Le Couvercle. It's Le Bon Choix for the yeah, planet. Le Bon Choix. Yeah. What you got in there, mate? Ah, uh, like some very perishable food that Nick decided to buy up a little bit. To mange an orange? Where? <laughs> 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 yes, Monsieur Lucas. Hello. Uh, how are you doing? I'm um, very well. I've just been flying for multiple hours without multiple food or sleep. So <laughs> I've had some baguettes. Now. Just remember, it's the H Alps, not the X Alps. So you gotta stay with people named H. Yeah, I'm ready to go, I just gotta clip in. I'm gonna get it up. And stick up there. Waiting somewhat impatiently for a double to launch. And we're off. Baba in front of me, he's already had a pretty big asymmetric. Bit rough. Okay, I'm going in and climb up. 2.7 going up. Woo! Fuck yeah! Four, five meters up! Holy shit! So I'm gonna keep climbing up. Wait for them at Cloud Base. Which, by the way, happens to be. How good is this? Crazy 
200 meters. West face of La Tournette. Okay, I see Davo climbing up. There's a couple of gliders here. It's incredible. This is so incredible. H Alps started off really well, and uh, we got up to the top of uh, La Tournette and. Uh, uh, I got sucked into cloud. So that's the cloud Hamid was in. It's pretty high and it's got a mountain inside it. He's a crazy kid. Nick said he's going over the back, but I couldn't see them. So I decided to go over the back from the south side, which was a stupid thing to do. Hamid screwed up! Because the uh, valley wind was from the north. So I got drilled into the back end of the valley and um, lots of valley wind. I was gale hanging in front of the power line just waiting for something to, on that hill and I could have then maybe connected to the RV but it wasn't meant to be and here I am next to a freaking graveyard. This is definitely the graveyard of dreams. Look at that. This is the second time I'm bombing out here. So this is where I landed next to the graveyard. Where I needed to be was about seven and a half kilometers to the northeast where Nick and Dalwood landed. Are you ready to land? Yeah, I know a nice spot. It's a lake and uh, some snow there. And I think this is a pretty safe place to land. Dalwood's got his big ears on out there. Oh, poor old Hummer, he got on the wrong side of that and got swept down to Albertville. Bugger. Okay, H Alps update. Day one, hour two. My goal was to uh, hike as little as possible. As you can see, I'm already walking. Yeah, I lost track of the guys. I got flushed down into Eugene. I got this. Whoa. Oh, oh. Yeah, so now the guys, they've landed. Probably already setting up camp. The most obvious way to get to them was along this path. And then I would climb up the side of this mountain but it's very infrequently traveled and my chances of hitching were quite slim. So I ended up going around the other side of the mountain, which was a lot longer, but the hitching was really good and I was able to get to where I needed to go a lot faster than I thought I would. I looked up the directions to where they are. It's a 38 minute drive and there's a big mountain between me and them. Might have to pull the night pass already. I don't know how many we're allowed, but give myself a few extras. Turn right onto Rue Isidore Berthet. Thank you. This route avoids road closures on D12. You are on the best route. You will arrive at 8.36 p.m. I'm not driving. I wish I could get there at 8.36 p.m. Anyway, uh, it wouldn't be an adventure if everything went uh, to plan. So I've been making really good progress on foot. I'm thinking, wow, I'm doing well. Then I realized... <laughs> <laughs> then I realized it's because I'm going downhill. But there's no rule in the H Alps against hitchhiking. So I'm sticking my thumb out and if that fails, I'm gonna have to call a friend. <laughs> Alright, my thumb worked. <laughs> this lady's giving me a ride to the turn off where I need to turn right to uh, head towards Dabo and Nick. Maxi! <laughs> So the thumb worked well, and now I'm next to uh, the uh, intersection for Marlow. There's actually a launch here. Um, if I can't get any farther from here, then I could probably hike up there tonight and uh, try and fly off tomorrow and catch up with the guys. But I'm hoping I can get a ride with someone going up this road. The problem is that it's a, it's a very small road and not a lot of traffic. So 
Hopefully someone's gonna have mercy. Okay, the thumb continues to work and now another lady is giving me a ride. Uh, and uh, I think she's going to Manico and she'll give me a ride there. It's my lucky day. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe my luck. Uh, Isabel um, happened to live at Manigo and she dropped me off exactly where I needed to go. And I tried to pay her for her time and fuel, but she wouldn't accept it. And, and I'm so thankful for the generosity of the people here. Thank you. So Nick says it took him 40 minutes once to hike up this path. So it'll probably take me two days. I might have to pull the night pass. Uh, I'm also thinking I might have to drink the beers and reduce the load a little bit. That'll serve them for not keeping the skylines on. Captain's log, day one, hour four. It's 9.30. Darkness will soon descend in this valley and the temperatures will plummet. It's quite dark now and getting dangerously cold, so I'm taking some emergency measures. I'm gonna put the beers in the external pockets so they stay cold and they're nice and chilled by the time I get to the top. It might be early in the morning, but that's a breakfast of the champions. As an extra safety measure, I'm going to take my uh, tiramisu and I'll move that to an external pocket as well. I've just come across this sign and I hope to God it's a typo. I'm just walking out of the tree line and I should be able to see them soon. It's a very odd place to land. I hope I don't have to go all the way around this bowl to the other side. Google says 1.7 kilometers, but I think that's as a crow flies. I got a long way to go still. Every so often I'll see something that looks like a tent, but it turns out to be a rock. That didn't work either. Check this out. I wonder what's in here. Hello? Hey donkey, hey buddy, how you doing? Come here, you want an apple? Abianto, there he is. I just want some company. Nice ears by the way. Oh, I think I should take a rest. Why are you following me? Well, if you're gonna follow me, how about you carry my pack? Bonsoir, Monsieur Doggo. And now there's this really friendly doof dog. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Hey, thanks for not biting me. Okay, I'm getting tired of this goat music. All right, all right, that's enough. Okay, hey, Doggo, can you get the goats to go away and be quiet for a bit? I'm just passing through. Thank you. I gotta go find my friends. You gotta take care of your goats. See ya. You can't come with me. I gotta go through here. Go, go, go. <laughs> All right, one more pet. Yeah, he's a good dog.
captain's log almost midnight um, and I still haven't reached them it's a lot higher than I thought it was and I've been slogging it for a while run out of jokes um, went off the track a few times it's really steep now um, but Google says I'm about 850 meters away I think they're around this spine on the other side of this so I'm gonna continue walking and uh, hopefully get there in about 15 20 minutes well this is pretty special I was walking in the dark using my phone for the light and suddenly I felt like somebody had a spotlight on me look back and the moon's popped up from behind that ridge so that's gonna make this steep walk a little bit easier that's so cool so it's gotten really s steep here and uh, I don't want to risk it it's pretty slippery and uh, uh, the moon's out now so it's a bit easier to see but this big drop so I'm gonna backtrack and then find another way across so I've just gone over the crest and I've got a new challenge I need to go there and it's pitch dark it's in the shadow of that bridge over there I think that's the one I was trying to climb before it the path is way down there and in the dark I just keep losing it and now I'm up here holding on to these bushes <laughs> and those trees are my landmarks alright I've made it there's those tents Sleep. I'm gonna set up my tent here higher than them. It's a symbolic victory. Fuck. That was such an ordeal. Caca! Caca!